Good morning everyone. Today I wanted to share with you some new in spring pieces because it's a beautiful sunny day and my rack is in full spring mode. I actually have so many clothes to show you. A mix of high street and high end and I have three bags and some shoes as well. So let me start off with what's on my rack because I know I've got every time I post stories in here everyone's like what's on there now? So let me put you on here. It's just me and you today. Well, it's, it's all, often just me and you really, isn't it? Let me show you what I'm wearing first. This is a beautiful little top I got from Out Dazzle. I think a few sizes have sold out. I'll link it down below. And I think they have another color as well. I think they have a navy, which is quite nice if you're not into the pastel vibe. I'm also wearing a lot of jewels. These are little amals. They are back in stock. So I'm going to link them down below before they fly. On this ear is a little ray stud here, which is so pretty. And I also have a Farrah cuff, which is amazing because it's got the little eye detail on it, but you don't need a piercing. So you literally just slide it on like that. Like how easy was that? Bada bing, bada boom, my ear is pierced so great and then what else do i have on just loads and loads of rings i've got like rose gold situation here these little beauties this is back in stock the rose and amethyst and also the blue ah. let's get going because i love color coordinating my rack Ta-da! here we are this is everything that i have some pieces are not new in and if i've shown them in a previous haul on my channel in the past like maybe month or so i probably will just brush over it now this was the first piece i wanted to show you which has got a lot of love and attention these are little zimmerman shorts not only do they have gorgeous butterflies on them they're super flattering can you see how the short is pinched in at the waist and then flares out you can see the shape much better almost when it's not on me that's what makes it really flattering and to have an inwards hem is also what makes your legs look really long look at the buckle on this they've got little butterflies on them it's almost like wearing jewelry but around your waist this was a little dress from love shack fancy from out dazzle love shack fancy just do the best summer dresses. This one is a little white number, which is beautiful and so cute. Love Shack Fancy have this great concept of the waist. The waist is great. Now, what I pair with this is a belt that I've seen a lot of people ask me about. This is a little belt situation. If anyone has a better way of storing your belt, let me know. This rattan belt. Now, I have a discount code on. I think it would work on this belt, so I'll link that down below. But I have seen an H&M version of this, which I'll also link down below. It's not rattan, it's actually rope. But I think I might buy it because I feel like that's such a great thing to have in the wardrobe, and I've worn this so much. So this is working really well with me for a lot of dresses, especially this one. Oh, I bought this, which literally just arrived the other day. Stunning, I'm really into yellow at the moment. I have never really been into yellow and now I am dying, dying, dying for a yellow bag. And someone actually DM'd me the other day a yellow Lueve bag. I want a pastel yellow like this. I don't want a bright highlighter yellow. This is a beautiful dress, gorgeous little padded shoulders, gorgeous sleeves and really silky i would say the boob situation it makes you look a bit like you have pointy little titties it's not ideal it's not ideal is it but it's, it's all right when i put it on you'll see and you'll kind of be like is it okay so what i normally do is i do everything by color so got a lot of yellow as you can see white yellow got some orange some greens some purples some blues and some pinks now this is new in from h&m this is a beautiful dress. They did a wildflower collection, which I'll link also down below because it's super affordable, gorgeous summer pieces. I've seen a lot of them are back in stock now, so I might need to buy a couple, couple more. But this dress is like a really nice oversized. Look at the little lavender on it. I just think the concept of a wildflower collection from H&M was just game changing like there's no wonder it flew off the shelves at lightning speed super affordable as well this is a sleeper dress sleeper dresses are really hitting the show right now because i feel like i see everyone in them on my instagram i feel like it's the sleeves that get me so excited i would like a bit more detail 
in the sleeper dress to be honest I find like I get that that's the concept but I find like I, I want a bit more for my money with these and I do find the sleeves kind of a bit overwhelming so I'm a bit on the fence honestly about this dress I feel like I put it on my Instagram stories and it was like it was like 70 30 keep and return but I love the color that the color is a really big win for me because I'm just so into my brights right now this coat is another one that if I can find it, I'll link it down below because I keep getting a lot of comments on this. This is a little Topshop pea coat. And because it, we haven't hit like super sunny weather yet, I feel like this allows me to wear a coat but still feel spring-like. This little beauty I got from Louisa V. Aroma. This is a Zimmerman dress. Now Louisa V. Aroma is one of my favorite places to shop for Zimmerman. I feel like they do most of their stuff on pre-order so you can get it before it's in any other retailers. And it has two little bows on the side. It's to classic Zimmerman in that it's super, super floaty. Like, oh look, it just floats around with you. It's a great one, a great one. If you've got a food baby and you just want to still feel like a queen, you know? Oh, that's just such great dresses. Two tops I wanted to show you at the end here that are from a b2 world on instagram now i love their top so much i think you can only buy them from dming them on instagram i'm not so sure on that but i'll leave their instagram down below i have a cream one which i wear all the time and they make me feel like a princess <laughs> look at this one this one is beautiful they're just such incredible fabrics and shapes can you hear that it's not a super lightweight material by any means but i think it has to be like that for it to hold its shape the shape of these with the sleeves are just something else like these sleeves they're just so exciting they make you feel like you're ready to go anywhere and do anything all right bags 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 i actually have more than three new bags the first one was very kindly sent to me and I haven't got around to wearing it yet but I wanted to show you. This is from Polen and this is a Parisian brand. I actually have a bag from them that I wore many many moons ago. Look I haven't even haven't even taken this off yet you know I just want to want to keep her safe for a bit but I saw this mint green bag it just reminded me of a scallop or a shell and I love that it has a top handle we all know I love top handle bags bucket bags are not my favorite style because I always find I'm trying to reach to the bottom but I felt like this one was too beautiful to resist now this you will have seen me unbox on my Instagram I have two new Fendi bags to show you now Fendi I feel like this season have just really brought it. I feel like their peekaboo and their peekaboo east west styles are so gorgeous. I feel like they've taken the peekaboo and they've added a bit of edge which is exactly what the east west bag does. This one is a limited edition one because it has this gorgeous open weaved embroidery on it. It is absolutely beautiful. Like I really thought this would be a love it or hate it bag but actually when I put it on my Instagram it turns out everyone loves it. I thought it would create a bit of a Marmite feel for people but that really wasn't the case. I would love the handle to not be brown because I feel like it it might interrupt with a few of my outfits, but so far it hasn't. And the gold hardware is beautiful. I would also love it to be double-sided. Can you see? Because I feel like I have to I have to think about what side to wear the bag and I just like to be able to wear it on both sides. However, it fits a lot. It's super roomy. I find the peekaboo is already roomy anyway, but obviously because this is a larger kind of longer size, it fits so much but I also don't want to crown it with stuff because it's such a precious baby. You guys might have seen this one in my Vista haul because of the bag strap that I bought for it. Now this I actually bought this Fendi bag in the midst of winter and I was just really looking forward to something that would remind me of spring and summer and blush bags are probably my favorite bags to wear. This one was really unique because it has rose gold hardware, which is quite rare for Fendi, and this color duo as well. This is in a really, really smooth leather, so I am very, very conscious of it. Hopefully not, but it will get marks on it, and it could get marks really easily. This was the bag strap that I bought from Vista Village. It was around 50% off, and most people actually commented last week telling me to keep the bow on it, so I'm gonna keep it on it for now and see how I feel. I feel like you guys convinced me <laughs> to keep this giant bow on it. I honestly wasn't going to before I read all your comments. You can tell I'm loving Fendi at the moment. My black peekaboo I wear so much. It's just like such a go-to bag 
for running around every day so I feel like hopefully this could be my spring summer version then I actually have a high street bag to show you oh here we go this is Lillian Bean now Lillian Bean do great I don't want to say dupes but it is really kind of dupes of luxury bags this is obviously a very similar bag to the Lueve bag but they actually take it one step up and you're able to put your initials on it and pick the color of the leather that you want on the bag as well so this I feel like is actually a really decent size it is really similar to the Lueve bag size but I feel like it's its own kind of bag because you're able to put your initials on it these are really affordable especially compared to the Lueve prices and I feel like it's great to have a personalized gift I personally have bought a fair few Ray Feather, Feather bags in my time, especially these kind of basket bags, and the AL on the bag has always, always come off. I bought Ray Feather when the um, brand first launched, and I was really disappointed. That was like six years ago, seven years ago, and I bought one maybe last summer or the summer before that, and the quality still hadn't improved. I kind of gave them the benefit of the doubt and went back and it hadn't improved. So I have high hopes for this. I think the issue with the Ray Feather bags is that the initials is on the straw. And so the paint, something about it, it just doesn't stick on the straw. Whereas this is a much better concept. I'm really excited for this. I think they have it in like yellow, orange. I feel like this is gonna be a great one for spring, summer, especially. Even if I'm going to the grocery store, I feel like it's gonna be so cute in this bag. I know, I know, that's basic, I know. I have two new shoes to show you. Both of them are flats, one of them are on sale. So I'll show you the sh sale, what, shale, shale ones first. <laughs> I'll show you the, <laughs> I can't talk. I will show you the sale ones first. Now these are 50% off, I'll leave a link to them down below. These are Cult Gaia little sandals. They're so pretty. Look at the gorgeous buckles on them. I love the nude color. I feel like the nude is such a wearable color, especially when you're like me and you wear a lot of dresses a lot of the time. I was really surprised these are on sale at the moment because I feel like they're such a classic style that they probably would have sold anyway. The next shoes are these Dior Espadrilles. These are so, so pretty. If you look really closely, they have like a little bit of shimmer and sparkle in them. I love how subtle the Christian Dior logo is on them. It's only if you're really looking that you can tell that they're Dior. They are otherwise just look like beautiful pink espadrilles. And so far they've been so comfortable. It literally feels like my feet are walking around in slippers. I'm gonna link these down below because they are some of the prettiest shoes. So that is everything from my new in my wardrobe spring things. I'll leave a link to everything down below. As always, I hope you have a wonderful week. I might be back at a funny time next week if something happens. And if that something does happen, and you don't see me next Sunday, this is all sounding very cryptic and I'm sorry about that. If you don't see me next Sunday, then something that something's happened and it's then I'll probably see you on Tuesday. But anyway, I will see you next week, either Sunday or Tuesday. Bye guys, have a good week.